Hi Libra, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. It's going to be behind the scenes on your person, Libra. So this is your person's reading and, you know, we're here to kind of uh, report on them, right? Report all about them and kind of let you know where they're coming from, right? They could be uh, a sweet angel or they could be, you know, uh, the fox, right? So we're going to find out what's going on with your person right now. I hope everybody's well. Let's get right into the reading and look at their oracle cards first. Show me the energy for... Libra's person, yeah, for Libra's person, please. This is behind the scenes on your person. And we're going to take this one, spontaneous awakening, activation, integration time. Your person, integration talks about kind of, you know, kind of understanding everything that is going on with you spiritually, right? All the little components here, kind of. It could be a time of healing, maybe, but I feel like this is more of an awakening and uh, kind of activating your, like, Higher consciousness. This is your person's energy. This is a blue flame. We're going to get one more card for them. Show me the energy for this person. And we have star ancestors. Hidden secrets. Lost wisdom. Look a little deeper. Okay. God, I feel like you might have had this card before. But look a little deeper is pretty clear. Right? I could be telling them that somebody has some secrets. Right? Okay. And lost wisdom. Maybe it is just hidden secrets like... Like lost wisdom. Doesn't always have to be somebody has a secret. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we have learned things uh, in our lives and we forget all about it. And, you know, then we are kind of reminded of it. So let's see what we have for Libra's person. Because uh, these cards are really vague, I feel like, without, you know, the tarot. But let's see. Let's get a couple more oracle cards. And we're going to take this one. And it is the bear. We have. And danger, especially in money matters. Okay. So there's some type of danger here. Mm -hmm. uh, there could be it. Maybe somebody's holding, keeping money. Wow. So let's see what else we have, though. That could just be jumping the gun on that. Show me the energy for Libra's person, please. And we're going to take this one. The chair is filled. Somebody new is entering their life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> okay, so let's see what we have for Libra's person. And... The heart of the matter for your person is, your person might have some secret here, though they could. It's a possibility here. And the strength card's reversed, and then they have the justice card. This is you, Libra. And the world card showing up for them. We have three major arcana. This is a major uh, reading. The world card showing up for them in energies that are coming into play. They have an ending and a new beginning, most likely. And their highest expectations, Libra, is... The Ten of Wands. Okay, so they think something is a major burden here, and uh, or something's going to be a burden, something maybe that they want. We're going to find out what it is. The King of Cups. Energy is uh, kind of leaving them, and energies that are coming soon. The Three of Wands. How other people affect them is the Two of Swords. Mm -hmm. So they feel stuck about something, and you could be making them feel this way, or... I mean, we can't really make anybody feel, you know, a certain way, right, according to psychologists. Uh, maybe, you know, you are mm -hmm, allowing them to, uh, so this is how other people make them feel. Yeah, I mean, they could be allowing themselves to feel this way because of you. Yeah, it could be. So let's see what we, what we have. And now how they are affecting uh, somebody else here, or other people, is the Ace of Wands. So... Your person looks like they have some type of a new, new beginning, right? Because the Ace of Wands is here, and the World card is here. Things maybe are coming full circle in some situation, mm -hmm, because it is both an ending and a new beginning. And their hopes and fears is the Seven of Cups. So your person, your person has some secret here. I feel like they do. I mean, I you know, I started the reading like we can't be really sure, but I feel like they have a secret, or you do, Libra. Mm -hmm. They're trying to have courage about you. I feel like they are, right? The strength card in the heart of the matter, but it's reversed, and then the justice card is like what's influencing that kind of lack of strength, right? In the reverse, the strength card, and they have the king of swords here. And uh, this could be you, Libra, for sure. Mm -hmm. It could be about a decision. This is what we don't really know yet. 
Uh, but let's see. Why is this King of Swords there for Libra's person? And we have the Hermit. Mm. Your person could be maybe just analyzing about something that you are doing. So this is vague because we just started. It could be a decision. It could be simply about you. Uh, and this Virgo card here, the Hermit card, may be soul searching and it could be Virgo. So we're not sure yet. The Four of Swords. Your person is definitely reflecting. And, uh, and I feel like whatever it is that they are reflecting on is, or analyzing possibly is about you for sure and I feel like they're lacking courage so why is this justice card there the knight of wands the eight of cups mm -hmm. I feel like your person thinks you're gonna walk away to be with somebody else here mm -hmm. you're gonna take action and walk away maybe it's about them they need to walk away mm -hmm. they're being advised to look a little bit deeper mm -hmm. Their highest expectation is the Ten of Wands and Temperance. So Libra, you always look like you're kind of dealing with Sagittarius. Yes, it kind of looks like that. Could be Virgo too, but I notice that Sagittarius shows up in your reading quite a bit. I feel like that Temperance card is. I feel like this is their highest expectations. Uh, it, and it has to do with a Sagittarian for me who is a burden. Yeah. And there could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio in the reading so far. In terms of, uh, in terms of you know, uh, signs, right? And there also could be maybe Gemini or Aquarius because the King of Swords is here. I feel like it's you, though, but, you know. And now they have the Four of Wands. Okay, so this is their highest expectations. So whatever it is, it's, it's going to be really difficult or it's burdening to them, right? It has to do with the Union, Four of Wands. And here we have another Sagittarian card. Yeah, we're going to get one more card. Why is that their highest expectations? And the five of pentacles reversed. Okay, for me, they think you're going to let somebody in. And here, energies that are coming soon is, I feel like it's you who's walking away, the justice card and the eight of wands with the knight of wands. This could be a Sagittarian that you're walking away to be with. Yeah, your person for me in this reading is kind of dealing with uh, maybe a secret. I feel like you maybe you have a secret and maybe this person, uh, for some of you guys, knew all about this other person, but they didn't know you were really leaving to be with this person. That could be the case. I mean, this card is here. Somebody new is entering your life. This could be saying, like, it doesn't have to be somebody you don't know. This is their card, though. Okay. Maybe they have a secret. They could. Mm -hmm. but they look like they're really challenged here mm -hmm. they don't look sad though not yet not as of yet so uh, maybe they want to let somebody in here they might want to let a Sagittarian in here they could be Sagittarius and letting somebody else in and the person they are trying to let in could be Pisces Cancer or Scorpio right so let's look at uh, the energies that are leaving by the wayside here. Yeah, Queen of Wands. See, this is what I mean about Sagittarius. Uh, it's possible it's Aries or Leo, but we don't see Aries or Leo in the reading uh, yet. No, we don't. Oh, we see Leo, though. That's not true. The Strength card is the first card in this reading. So your person, I feel like there's a Water sign and a Fire sign in this reading for sure. And for some, there could even be an Air sign. The Hierophant card showing up here, this is the energies that are leaving them. Five of Cups. So this could be a few things. This could be they're no longer sad about a water sign or a fire sign. They're no longer sad about a union with the Hierophant. It could be Taurus. But I feel like they're these energies that are leaving them, this could be you. Maybe you're no longer sad about it. Mm -hmm. Or somebody could have had a lot of regret here. Yeah, I feel like there's regret in this reading mm -hmm. for some of you guys. And I feel like there was a sad ending, and maybe that's over now. And now, over here, coming into play, they're walking away from you, or you're walking away from them. It just looks like you, you're leaving them with the strength card reversed and, you know, 
and their highest expectation starts out with a burden. So I feel like you're leaving them, but it could still be switched. And the Ace of Swords is showing up here. Somebody might have been really kind of grieving some type of victory or clarity. Mm-hmm. And the Seven of Wands reversed. I feel like it there was super overwhelming in the past, and it's, you know, it's becoming less. Mm-hmm. There could have been regret that is kind of, you know, this could have there could have been regret here. Mm-hmm. Let's look at the energies that are coming into play, like as of like real quick here. Could be next week, you know, could be in a few weeks, something like that. This over here is kind of coming soon, but this is kind of like immediate, yeah. And we have this uh, world card, or more immediate than this here, right? The world card and the Six of Swords, this is uh, energies that are coming into play for them. So as I said, somebody's leaving here. There's an ending and a new beginning, but it's, it's kind of, I feel like you are leaving them, or they're leaving you. Yeah, I feel like that's the case. And the Empress is showing up. Mm -hmm. And the King of Wands. Okay, so we already see the Queen of Wands in the reading. We know there's a fire sign. Yeah, at least in this particular reading. Could be any sign. We have to kind of match up with the, I mean, the story is more important. But there's definitely an ending and a new beginning. Libra, you could be the Empress here, or this could also be a third-party person. Yes, it can. And there's like an activation here, right? Uh, a simultaneous awakening. I feel like, or a spontaneous awakening, I should say, yeah. But this awakening, I feel like, you know, I just think that somebody knows exactly what they want now. And that's what's happening here. They're like awakening to that. And they're like, well, I'm going to go now. Or I'm going to, you know, pursue this other situation. Let's get one more card. What is the Eight of Cups there? The death card, yeah, this is definitely an ending right here. Okay, so as I said, you're leaving them, or they you. And let's see what else we have here, Libra, for your person, right, or about them. And the three of wands is energy. Uh, oh, yes, this is supposed to be, uh, yeah, this is supposed to be here. here yeah, here. <laughs> it doesn't really matter, though. But these are the energies that are, uh, mm-hmm. The energies that are coming soon here, there's an ending and somebody's walking away. Somebody's turning their back, but I feel like this Three of Wands is to manifest another situation. And these are energies that are coming soon. Sorry about that, guys. I'm mixing the cards, kind of. But it doesn't change the reading. And the Ace of Cups is showing up here. This is what I mean. There's an ending and a new beginning, the Ace of Cups. Mm -hmm. And how other people are affecting them is the Two of Swords. Uh, this could be you. I feel like this is what I mean. I feel like your person feels like uh, this could be, uh, they could be like the ones who are kind of dealing with uh, sadness, maybe regret, but like a sad ending here, grieving, five of cups. This is their reading. And this is how other people are affecting them, two of swords, two of wands showing up, and uh, mm -hmm. this is how other people are affecting them. Yeah, they don't kind of know, they're like confused, maybe going back and forth, feeling stuck, uh, you know, maybe questioning things. I don't know how things are going to go. There's two twos here, and they can be about choices, but they can also be like, I don't know, yeah, like I don't know what to do about me and somebody else, right? Two people, and now they have the six of pentacles. This is how other people are affecting them. I feel like they're, you know... It's possible they don't know, uh, it's possible they don't understand here that there is a third party here. It's a possibility here. Mm -hmm. Because they're trying to get their clarity right here. I feel like they are Four of Swords in the Virgo card and the Hermit. The Four of Swords, the Hermit, and the King of Swords. They are trying to get their clarity about you, mm -hmm, and they're not feeling so good about it. Like they're like feeling, you know, maybe with fear, you know in that finding kind of and it is about you libra and a knight of wands it could be taking action but i feel like it's a fire sign and then they're carrying this major burden about uh about i feel like you're letting somebody in here i feel like this is how i feel like they just don't know what to do about the situation that's it right mm -hmm. they don't know what to do about the situation this is how other people are affecting them i feel like it is you and 
how you, how they are affecting other people is the Ace of Wands. Why would they affect other people like that? Or because of that, the lovers, the Queen of Swords. They could be questioning you here. I feel like they are. <coughs> I feel like they're questioning you here, like discerning it. Like, you know, how the Queen of Swords can kind of like... Uh, she can be tough, and she can kind of, you know, wield her sword at you. Like, I want some answers. I feel like this is how your person, the, how they are affecting you, right? This is how they are affecting other people, and I feel like it is you. Here's the Queen of Swords. I feel like they're questioning you here if you made a choice to have a new beginning with somebody else, Ace of Wands, and um, the Lovers, right? Which is a choice, typically. Gemini is about choices, yeah. And the hopes and fears here for them is the Seven of Cups, and the Sun card. Mm -hmm. I feel like they're hoping for their clarity. I feel like they are. So let's see here. Why is that Sun card there? Why would they hope or fear that? Mm -hmm. Five of Swords. Yeah, I feel like they are kind of hoping for their clarity and fearing that you are kind of like choosing somebody else here. Mm hmm. Page of Cups. Yeah, I feel like they're hoping for this clarity here. They're fearing like this. I feel like your person is like confused about it. Yeah, I feel like they are. I feel like they're in the dark about the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Like on some level. Like they know something's wrong here, but they don't know entirely if... <clears throat> I feel like they think you're letting somebody in, but they're not entirely sure. I don't think you're telling... You're like being, you know... You're being upfront with them at all. I don't think so. I feel like this Hidden Secrets is your secret... They have this card look a little deeper. Mm-hmm. And this danger in money in money matters, the highest expectations is a five of pentacles reversed. This could be saying that, you know, their highest expectation here kind of like is that there's a burden here. Like and you know, about somebody else, but it's gonna like uh kind of like they, they might lose money here they might five of pentacles even though it's reversed because could maybe not be happening until until you leave until you guys split up why is that five of pentacles there please for libra's person five of wands omg mm -hmm. all the fives are in this reading these are crises and turning points and conflict mm -hmm. We're going to end the reading there right now. We're going to go over to the extended uh, Libra and see all about your person. And we're going to look at their outcome and how they feel about you, what is challenging them, what they could be hiding from you, or what you just simply don't know, what they desire, and their future. Thank you so much. You're all super affordable, you guys. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe.